Well, as a businessman, Richard Sevick has helped build billion-dollar companies. He's managed thousands of employees, and he says that all leadership requires just two things, character plus common sense. And now he's joining us to explain that. Welcome to the 700 Hello, Club, Richard. You, it's great thank to you have you much. here. You say in your book that successful management is both simple and difficult. How is that possible? <laughs> well, well, it's simple in the sense that there are, I think, basic principles that we need to follow. And, you know, one of the things I love, I, I've read the Bible most of my life, and one of the things I love is the Bible talks about these principles yes. so we can learn a lot about business from the Bible. But, you know, there are basic principles. Now, once we understand them, you know, for example, one principle is integrity. Yes. You know, be honest. Uh, that's not easy, right? It's difficult to live right. day after day being you know, high integrity, no exaggeration, no lying, no cheating. You know, unfortunately, in our society now, there's an epidemic of lying and cheating and, you know, politicians, businessmen, you know, things of that sort. So, you know, one of the things we need to do is understand we should have high integrity. And then we got to remind ourselves almost on a daily basis that we got to live up to that standard. Yeah. And is that the difficulty in maintaining consistently the, the character yeah, in our know, lives? It, you know, speaking for myself, you know, as a businessman, it was easy for me. You know, if I was in a meeting and it was my turn to talk, you yeah. know, to exaggerate possibly. <laughs> uh, and, you know, the thing that's really damaging about the exaggeration is very often you wind up as, a, as an employee or as a contributor, you wind up taking credit for something that somebody else may have done because yes. I'm exaggerating yeah. now. And that destroys teamwork. So, you know, if you really want to have a strong team, especially as a manager, if you want to have a strong team, what you need to do is be humble. Yeah. You need to think about what can I do to help other people? Mm -hmm. What can I do to help the team? You know, stop focusing on myself and get focused on, you know, what's good for this group? What's good for this company? What's good for this ministry? Mm -hmm. You know, what's good for my family? You know, focus on other people. You know, be humble. You know, that's what Jesus said, right? Yeah. Get our minds and our attention off of ourselves and start thinking about, you know, what's good for the people that we love and that we care about. You know, um, you talk about inverting the, <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. the structure of management where the leader is at the bottom of the, the pyramid right. serving those who are at the top. What's, what do you have to consider? What are the important considerations in forming a strong team and in getting mm -hmm. behind the people who work for you? Well, really quickly, you know, what the story behind the inverted org chart is we had a great founder at Xilinx. His name was Bernie Vonderschmidt, and he was a great guy. He was a very humble guy, very aggressive guy, too, by the way. Uh, but what he believed in is that the, the success of the company was going to depend on the thousands of employees and not, you know, just him, right? Mm -hmm. So in every conference room that we had, we had the org chart of the company upside down from traditional. So Bernie would be at the bottom and the senior management team is at the bottom, and all the individual engineers and, mm -hmm. and the admins and, and all the people that were doing the real work yeah. were on the top. And that was a constant reminder. So as a manager, one of the things I want to do with the team that I'm leading is make sure that they understand, you know, what are the objectives, what are we trying to achieve, and make mm -hmm. sure that they understand that they're the key. Well, and you know, Richard, there's a popular show on TV right now called Undercover Boss, where the CEO goes out undercover and right, yeah. spends time with his employees. And you really see that no matter how great your ideas are mm -hmm. at the top of the pile, it's the, the people who are working for you who have to walk that out in the public. Right. And, you know, I, I worked for about 10 years, <coughs> excuse me, at, at HP, Hewlett Packard, mm -hmm. and they had a, a management phrase called management by walking around. Mm -hmm. And that was the idea. Yeah. You had to, as a manager, you had to get out. You know, if you're leading a team and if you don't understand what the team members are dealing with and you don't understand, you know, the kind of problems and the kind of opportunities yes. that they have, then you're not going to be a very effective leader. So management by walking around meant that I was going to get out there. I was going to work alongside, you know, different people, understanding their jobs, what they were trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. And then as the manager of the group or the leader of the group, I could do a much more effective job at making sure I'm helping them, making sure I'm setting up an environment so that they can be successful. And in, you can even apply these principles at home, by the way. You know, leadership also applies to the home. You know, if you're a mom or a father, sure. you know, you need to lead your family. And so the same thing, you know, you know better than I do. You got to talk to your teenagers. Right. You got to interact with them, right? Every you know, you day. Gotta, you got to help them. <laughs> you know, you got yes. to understand what makes them Tick, right? You got to understand what motivates them. 
And then you can work yeah. with them and you can lead. What, right? uh, you talk a lot about um, numerous character traits in here mm -hmm. that are significant in leadership. Is there one that we seem to fall behind on more than others? Would it be integrity or what would it be? Well, I think in the United States right now, integrity and humility are the two biggies that I think are, are missing in our society. And I think a lot of it is because the people, you know, the politicians are not basically demonstrating you know, integrity, Boy, and they're not, the truth, right? yeah. they're not demonstrating humility. And so I think those are two, two really missing character traits that we have. But, but another one, you know, I know in, uh, in Silicon Valley, where I've worked you know, a lot of my life, you know, another one that's missing is, I'll just call it friendliness or joyfulness. Yes. A lot of senior management wind up getting arrogant. They wind up becoming very demanding. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been in meetings where senior management will yell at employees. Yeah. And that, that's not the way to lead, right? Right. That's just not the way to, to operate. That's not the if way to... If you're going to form a team, you need to be part of the team, yes, right? right. You know, together we're going to succeed, <laughs> exactly. and together we may fail, and together we're going to grow. And you know, it's an interesting thing. That is a God concept. The scriptures say that where there's unity, God commands a blessing. So it's an awesome thing to participate in. Well, for more with Richard Sevick, check out his book. It's called Character Plus Common Sense. If you're a leader, it's a must read. It's available nationwide. And, and if you're a leader in your home, this is a great way to ensure that you stay there. Thank you so much Thank for being with us. Great to have you here.